Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a magic spell that will increase the size of any model or object in your game. So I have a scene here, it's inside, and I have my little zombie here which I quite like from the asset store. And all we're going to do is create a cool little magic spell with some little effects using a particle system and increase him in his size. So let's start with that particle system. So on our model, right click and go to effects and go to particle system and I'm going to just bring up this particle system and then rotate on the X so it goes down like so so let's do it about 90 so it's directly down and we're going to quickly make some alterations to this uh, particle system to make it look a little bit more magical so firstly let's change our start lifetime to about four change our start speed to about two and duration is going to be about four as well because I don't want it going on for too long. Uh, we don't want it to loop, but I'm going to leave it looping just for now. And the start color I'm going to have as yellow because I'm going to use this little star here. And uh, emission, let's have that as about 100 so we have more of them. And shape, let's keep it as cone and 25. That's all good. That's a nice kind of flow. Uh, let's go to size over lifetime. Tick it and let's have it start at nothing and then let's add a key. So right click, add key and let's bring this so as it comes up to full size relatively quickly and then dissipates out to nothing by the end of its lifetime. Uh, next what we'll do is let's add some, let's add some rotation. So uh, rotation over lifetime let's have. So let's tick that and we'll have it as 45. I think that's a good rotation to have. So now let's add this star to the particle system, like so, and it's quite big. So let's change the start size. Let's change that to 0 0.4 maybe. Yeah, that should do the trick. And now what I'm going to do is drag the particle system out of the zombie. So it's its own game object. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to tick, uh, or rather untick, looping. So it looks like it goes off, but it hasn't. So it will last four whole seconds. Now the idea of what we want to do is we want to be able to, let's say, walk into an object which triggers everything, and then we play the sound, which goes like a, a chime jingle, and then we play the stars while our zombie increases size. So on our controller, I'm going to add in uh, empty game object, and I'm going to drag and drop my chime sound onto there. F2 to rename, chime, sound, I'm going to untick play on awake. Next thing we need to do is create a C-sharp script. So right click, create C-sharp script, and we'll have this as magic trigger. Open that up in Visual Studio, and we'll be setting four variables. So one variable will be the zombie, one will be a bool to say true or false, uh, another one will be the stars that we've just created, and another one will be the chime. So we can get rid of void start because we don't need that and any annotations, they can go. First variable will be the zombie, public game object, the zombie, semicolon. Next will be the bool to say whether the spell is active or not. So public bool spell working and by default we'll have that as false semicolon next is going to be the stars that we've just created so public game object and spell stars we'll have semicolon and i've spelled game wrong there and finally the chime so it's going to be public audio source the chime semicolon so we're going to start with the trigger itself so we need void on trigger enter and it doesn't need to be private so we can get rid of that and once we enter this we need to have the chime play the sound so the chime dot play open close bracket semicolon and then we need to set the spell working to be true so spell working equals true semicolon so in contrast to that in our update what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement which says if the spell is working is true then this is what we do 
So if spell working equals true, and that's double equals, remember, then we do the following. We need to firstly set the spell stars to be active. So spell stars dot set active true. And at that point, we need to set an if statement so as we constantly increase the size of our zombie until it's at a certain point where we stop the spell. So if, in brackets, the zombie dot uh, transform dot local scale, and that's a capital S on scale, because remember it is case sensitive, is less than or equal to in fact, we'll do on the y axis. So local scale dot y is less than or equal to 3. Then we do the following. So if it's still small, we increase the local scale on the x, y, and z constantly. So the zombie dot transform dot local scale. And we don't need to set an actual um, coordinate here. We don't need to set x, y, or z. We can just do everything together. Uh, plus equals new vector 3 and in brackets we'll increase by this much every time so it'll be 0.01 f so the higher this number the quicker it increases in size the lower this number the slower it increases in size so that's the x 0.01 that's the y and finally 0.01 f that is the z close bracket semicolon. So we also need to set a cutoff point, i.e. else if this isn't true, we then need to stop the spell. So else spell working equals false, semicolon, and save the script. So let's head back to Unity. Uh, we shouldn't have any errors. We don't. Perfect. So now let's add a cube that would be our trigger. So our player is just over here. So game object, 3D object, cube. Let's bring the cube into focus and increase the size on the Z. So let's have this as 3. In fact, we'll do a bit bigger, 5. And I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer, but also tick is trigger right here. And now we just need to add that script onto the cube and then set those couple of variables. So the zombie is our zombie. Spell stars is our particle system, and the chime is the chime sound. And the last thing we need to do is turn off that particle system. And now let's press play and check out this spell in action. So it's all good, but as soon as we walk forward into the trigger, the spell will occur. Excellent. So it's all about timing as well, because you'll notice the chime went on yeah, for a couple of seconds there, but maybe we should change the duration to about three. So as the stars stop roughly when the chime ends. So let's try once again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Perfect. So that is how you can create a spell to increase the size of any model or object in your game with a little bit of zazz as well. You don't necessarily have to use the stars, you could use the actual particles it gives. It's entirely up to you how you want to play around with this. There's no set way of doing it. I'm just showing you how you can incorporate this into different methods. So it doesn't necessarily have to be increasing the size of something. So I'll probably make a couple of more spell tutorials because it's something that gets requested quite a lot. I can create like spells to do different things. And I think it's kind of cool to experiment and play around. So guys, until next time, thank you very much for watching.